subjects for nailers and versus staple guns and kind of what I found um, that has been working for me on you know on the farm or working around household projects maybe assisting my wife with some gardening projects as, as well and you don't really have a lot of time but you want a good something solid that you'll be able to either frame a wall with or maybe you're just going to be doing some finishing nailing putting up some crown molding or even just like kind of putting up some boards or some some wall sheeting or something of that nature but um i just want to let you know that i'm going to be covering pretty much these these three items that i have here going from the framing nailer to the finishing nailer and also the stapler the the narrow crown stapler and um, they're all m18 uh, fuel guns by milwaukee not guns but nailers or staplers by milwaukee and what i loved about them is that they all have their their they're kind of why, why do i exist type thing and, and when i was out looking for one that would kind of do everything of what i was looking for as far as a tool tools concerned i couldn't i you know there was not enough information out there on the web to really kind of hone in and figure out hey look this is what i really wanted to uh, to do here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of quickly go over them too as well. So let's get started with why I have these three nailers here. Why, you know, why they're in my possession? Why do I own them? So, you know, I, I wanted to kind of start playing around with the framing nailer because I wanted to start fixing up, um, you know, outdoor projects that require, you know, two by fours to be nailed together. And I didn't want, you know, and I love like screwing them in, you know, I love using my, um, my impact and just, you know, screwing things in. But when I'm, you know, cutting and putting boards together or two by fours together, I didn't want to kind of waste my time, you know, trying to see if something was going to work or not. And so, you know, normally, normally people are using the framing, you know, nailer, obviously, because they're, they're, they're framing with it. So, you know, it is really good when you're putting the two by fours together, you are making, um, you know, a frame with it, you know, putting up walls and things of that nature. And you're really trying to get moving with it. And it really cuts down the time of actually uh, putting everything together. Now, this one that I have is a 21 degree. And right now for, for the nails I have in it that I'm going to be shooting out of it, uh, it's really efficient. So what I mean, it's efficient is that it will last. I mean, they claim on a five hour, three amp hour battery, it'll do about 600 nails. I have yet to wear through a nail or go through that many nails um, in any of my projects. So it hasn't been any sort of problem with what, um, what I use it for. But, you know, I just, you know, I use it every now and then here at the house. And um, what I'll do is I'll, you know, like, let's say I'm, um, I just framed out a wall for my pool house. And what I wanted to do is just kind of, you know, put it together here and then walk it in there before, you know, without having to build it in there or just, you know, start putting up some studs in certain areas and you just don't want to drill them because you're holding, you know, one with one side, you're supporting and you're kind of by yourself. It's the plastic strip nails. Okay. So these, it doesn't have an exact penny size of it. Um, but these are a three and quarter inch, um, 21 degree ones that I'm using. Now there is a version of this that is straight through with no curved. And the reason why I decided to choose the curved one was so I can hit it up in angles. Like, let's say I want to hit it in that angle or I want to hit it in that angle. It doesn't have to be straight flush on to whatever it is that I'm shooting onto it. And so that's why I ended up choosing this framing nailer. Now the, the thing is a beast. I mean, it really shoot, it, it really has some power to it. It really has a good kick to it. It is a lot heavier than what you would find in a standard framing nailer that you'd use pretty much on the job site, you know, but there is no air attachment, no hose with it. And I've had some buddies who do framing for a living. You know, I had them test it out and try it out. I wish I would have recorded it, but they, 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 they never used a, uh, a you know, electric framing nailer. So they were really, they're really reluctant to actually try it. But after they spent some time and they were working with it for like an hour or so, they really enjoyed it, you know, and it was kind of funny how, you know, the, the remarks they were making about it, but it is heavy. So, you know, going up and down on a ladder, hitting, you know, hitting whatever studs you need to get into it, it, it is, you know, it does, it does definitely, you know, it, it's definitely going to give you a workout. Now, with the uh, the nailer this one is this particular model is the 2744-20 
uh, Milwaukee fuel, and it does, it, and it's really like I said, it comes bare with the nailer, and it's it's a pricey, it is a pricey machine here, and it is um, it is slanted by 20 degrees as well, and but the the thing about it is is that. Um, it doesn't come with any case that I had, so I had to get a pack out case for it. So I bought a big old pack out case. But by the time you spend the money on on you know on the nailer itself and the pack out case, you know it is really one of those items that you really you know you're really going to put some use to it. And there is going to be a reason why you're going to be using, it. or you just like good tools and you want to make your life simple. This has uh, definitely um, helped me out. I've started using a lot more recently, uh, like I said, because I was reluctant to start framing anything without, normally I'm, I've been using nails for everything, but uh, this guy right here has definitely changed it and how it, it worked out. Now, I do recommend you be really careful with it because I mean, there, there's been times where I wasn't using some gloves and you know maybe it got really close to my finger, but you know, you, you live and you learn a little bit. Um, by the way, correction, it is a 21 degree framing nailer. So other than that, I am going to go ahead and show this one off a little bit here. It doesn't sit up, so I'm having it lean it up against the nails as well. So I'm going to move on to uh, the next one that I purchased. And this was some time. So I've had this one for about a year now, this framing nailer. And I said, man, you know, I need something that's going to be a little bit smaller and where I could tack in some projects and then come back and do what I need to do with it because I didn't want to, you know, shoot such an aggressive nail into it. But so I went with this 15 gauge um, finishing nailer and it's the, the model number is the uh, 2839-20. Um, it's 18 volt Milwaukee fuel. And I picked this guy up and I ended up using this to the nth degree. I've used it for just about everything. Um, I've used it to put up siding, boards, um, tack on some wall projects, but there was something missing about it. And um, I liked it. I've used it for everything pretty much. Like, let's say, you know, I, ha I have I own a, uh, some rental properties too as well. And, you know, I had to go in and clean some stuff up and get things done. But um, this is also an angled nailer too as well. And the pricing for the nails are, are pretty really cheap as well. You know, I think for a pack of a thousand, you could pick them up for like 16 or 18 bucks from the local hardware store. But the ones that I'm going to be testing out today with them are going to be the... Um, two inches as well and they're also 34 degrees as well so you know from from my what i've been using it with you know i i i didn't want something as aggressive as the framing nailer to nail things in so i ended up picking up something smaller and this is why i went towards that object but like i said it is really good to kind of you know get something small and be able to utilize it when you know really something really light you want to get up with it you want to use it for a little bit of periods of time and you want to start tacking a project that you you like let's say you're kind of framing something but you weren't really kind of you kind of want to see kind of how it's put together before you do it like a special project and you weren't framing kind of a wall with it but you're kind of working on a little project and you you want to kind of you know hit it in certain spots to where it kind of holds together so you kind of sit back and look at it you know um, this is definitely what what I use it for mostly is kind of what I'm doing a lot of you know cool new builds of of whatever it is whether it's for around the house or gardening or putting up um, you know some some shiplap too that's what I basically use this guy for it was a lot of shiplap too as well um, so you can see probably in my videos of the backgrounds on, and outside right now as you can see I'm pretty much just shoot um, shooting live outside of the uh, the barn right now just open air because it's such a beautiful day outside here in florida and it's a little cool but um you know for me i, I want to try to get outside as much as possible but other than that um that's talking about this fuel brushless uh finishing nailer now why i picked up this one they they make a straight one too um i wanted one with a little bit of curve to it just so i could get and hit those angles um and get into those little hard to reach spots so that's why i picked up this one and I'll go ahead and do a demo of it and how, how I, you know, how it should be really be used. And then what, what I'll do is also let's go into the, the stapler. Now this stapler, um, has been, I, this is the most recent purchase I picked up. And so, you know, beginning, I picked up the framing nailer about a year ago and I would say about three, four months after that, I picked up this uh, finishing nailer. And just recently in the past month, I picked up this stapler. Now, this guy is absolutely has been wonders for what I've been using it for because 
not only it almost does everything the framing nailer would do, I mean, not the framing nailer, but the finishing nailer would do, but it has a um, narrow crown, it, it carries a narrow crown stapler. And what I, what I liked about it is that it wouldn't shoot completely through a lot of objects the finishing nailer would shoot through. So like, let's say you're hanging on some kind of uh, plastic material, or some sort of covering of a wall you want to put up. You don't, let's say you didn't want to get into drywalling, but you had a, had a room that you just want to put up some material up on the wall. Like, let's say like fake brick or like a faux brick or faux shiplap and it comes in one sheet. Um, that's kind of what led me to buying a stapler rather than um, utilizing a finishing nailer because the finishing nailer kept on shooting right through it and it just, it wouldn't grab. So what I ended up doing was I picked up this stapler because I didn't have anything that was grabbing on the thing. So I'd have these projects where I needed to grab onto an object and get it up on a wall, but get some, get some, something in it to where it's going to hold it well for a long period of time. And that's why I picked up this stapler. So this, um, this stapler by Milwaukee is an 18 gauge narrow crown stapler. And I have to, I, I've been extremely impressed on how this thing has been operating and for what I've been using for, for around the house and putting up objects and even tacking on projects, which is really not a, a good kind of like, you know, you want to kind of put some wood things together and, and put them together. It's not really good for that sort of, of building, but it is definitely if you want to hang stuff or, you know, get material up on the wall or just get some sheets up of maybe even plywood. Um, this has definitely been um, definitely a good purchase and it has become my most favorite out of all the, the, the staplers or nailers. And the simple fact is that I could use this just about all around the house on all kinds of projects. And this should have been the first one that I really bought and not the framing nailer. Um, so before I bought even the finishing nailer, I should have bought the stapler beforehand. And that was just kind of to my mistake of, of discovery here. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I picked up two sizes of the, the, uh, the staple, the crown staples that come with it. They don't come with it. It's, it's, uh, I don't have my pocket knife right with me right now. Boo hoo. Normally I'm carrying my pocket knife with me. But I picked up two different size staples just to play with. Um, I have been using this um, all around right now in my current project I'm doing with my pool house. And it seems to be kind of what has been I'm using the most. I've almost been using it for applications that I would use a finishing nailer for. But as you know, the finishing nailer is going to come out a lot more cleaner. It's going to shoot a lot more deeper. It's going to have a smaller head to it. But the stapler is just going to grab whatever it is and just really kind of hold it a little bit better. So I've been really, the, these are the, uh, the, the staples that I'm using with it. One is going to be a quarter inch. The other one is going to be a, uh, I'm sorry, one is going to be an inch. I'll make sure I have this right before I get, one is five eighths and one is going to be inch and a half. So, you know, I wanted something smaller, but I also wanted something bigger as far as what I was shooting and depending on what I was putting up. Now, I've hit some uh, reasons, other reasons why I needed this other than just hanging things. But let's say you're hanging like kind of a, you're putting up like a wire mesh on a table and you're trying to create something where you're holding some chicken wire up. You know, that's another reason why I wanted to get the stapler or you're just holding up some wire that needs to go outside, not electrical wire, but you know, like fence wire or something. That is another reason why I ended up picking up the stapler. It just, it has a couple other uh, features to it that um, the finishing nailer just won't, won't do. But, you know, I've also found out that the stapler obviously won't, doesn't have that same kind of hold also the finishing nailer would hold just because of the size of the gauge as well. That makes a big difference. Now, a couple other things that uh, I wanted to mention when you are getting these is that none of them came out with any sort of case with it. And maybe it was because, you know, I, I picked them all up at Home Depot and uh, maybe they do come as a case, but I mean, they're already pretty expensive for what it was. They don't come with batteries. They don't come with chargers, just a tool only. I got it bare. Um, just because I, I like kind of a case where something comes together and everything's just there all together. And uh, so I picked up these uh, pack out cases for them. Um, as, as you can see here, this was the first one I picked up for the smaller nails. And this is a bigger one that I picked up for the, for the uh, framing nailer. As you can see, it's, it's a lot bigger, 
But, you know, if me, if, if I had a Milwaukee, you know, I'm going to put it in Milwaukee boxes that have, you know, clearly what they're for. And it has, and like I said, the one that I use for the frame nailer, you can, you can see it's a little bit, uh, looks a little bit, you know, dirty, but it has been, you know, taken care of really well as if it was inside in the box somewhere. So the pack out boxes are good, but like I said, they are a little bit pricey, but good tools for a good project, good work, you know, result in a really good and 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 results so you know at the end of the day it's all a matter of what you're really wanting to do now also i want to i don't i want to also mention i did pick up you know i'm i'm not biased towards the type of equipment i use okay so let's get that straight i i don't prefer one over the other um the only reason why i have all the milwaukee is because i always carried milwaukee for everything for the longest period of time and i already have batteries galore just lying around of all milwaukee i mean heck i got them running my vacuum cleaners inside for the attachments for the Dysons. So at the end of the day, I'm using Milwaukee batteries for just about everything. That's why I buy them. They see, it, it seems to be a really good product, you know, and, and I, I've been kind of contemplating on moving over to a different brand too as well, but I have so much invested in the Milwaukee. It's like, you know, it's a good solid product. It, it lasts for, you know, it lasts a really long time. It'll handle the job site. And um, no one bought these or provided them for me. So this is just kind of a neutral review on these things. But let's get, I wanna show you guys these, um, these nailers in action. So let me go ahead and get another piece of two by four here. And I already have my PPE on. So those are gonna hit me online saying, Mark, you didn't wear your protection. I got, I got my eyeglasses. Nobody wants to get, shoot a nail and it comes hitting out sideways, hit something, it hits you in the face, especially while you're live. So I'm gonna go turn it on in the back. You got two modes with it. You got single shot, you got multi-shot mode. And then you just hold down the button, turns on clearly for you. You go to have, and you slide your nails in from the back end and you hit, and here's the slider that just grabs it. And from there, it's pretty much ready to go. Um, so let's say I was just framing, you know, I just had these laid out on the floor, you know, and I'm just, you know, doing my, you know, depends on what my centers are, whether I'm 24 or, 16 centers and that's about it i did have it um i did have the adjustments a little bit nothing was holding it in so it, it left a little bit of um excess here now there are there is a tightening mechanism here that um you could turn it, it, it it'll sink it in further if you turn it if, if you rotate it um if you rotate it clockwise, but if you do counterclockwise, it'll leave it sitting up just, just a little bit higher. But other than that, um, that is a good kind of just quick explanation. Gee, I shot, I shot this thing at an angle. As you can see there, I mean, it, it, it's really started, does really well. And um, it, like I said, is really good when you're just quickly building a frame. You don't want to screw it in. You have tons of screws, but um, you want to build it you know, set it up, get it all set up, you know, just on the go really quick. That is definitely the nailer of choice. But other than that, putting large pieces of wood together like two by fours, I wouldn't really recommend anything else with it. Um, you can use plywood with it with a smaller nail because it does have a, 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 a bit, it will carry a bigger head on it. So obviously you can put in some other objects in there. I haven't tested it out yet, but I think that'll be a good test for later. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the finishing nailer that's here. And the finishing nailer, um, let me go ahead and grab just kind of a little piece of wood here and just kind of hit it here and just kind of show you kind of how it holds a little bit. And then maybe we'll do like a, a test to where, you know, I'll use this versus the other one. And the, the finishing nailer turn on is inside where the handle is at. So if you can see it's right here, same concept, you slide in your finishing nails right directly, you know, from the bottom and then you just get it prepped up and set up pull back and set up. Now it does have the same two modes where you can do multi or single shot. And then from over here, let's say I was gonna do some crown molding with it. Um, the, let's go ahead and use the stapler, which like I said, has been my favorite toy. And kind of let's, let's, so this one is really soft on the, on the really easy to use, really light. It is a staple and Cause you could, it, it seems a whole better than the framing. I mean, than the, the finishing nailer. Yeah, I could pull it up, but it's not as easy to move. 
I mean, I'm not gonna be able to take that off with my hand, but you can see the difference of it, what it just did. So you got two, eight, basically at the end of the day, you got two 18 gauge nails going in versus one 15 inch gauge nail. And it's also holding, it has a little lip on it, obviously like a staple, and it's holding the actual um, medium down. And that's kind of what I wanted to show you guys. That's why I started really liking it. Now, um, I, I found in some cases where it doesn't work nearly as good as the as the uh, the finishing nailer on certain cases. Like let's say you're tacking some wood together in in in, in a larger you know aspect or holding something of, of more weight, you know, so it won't it won't hold. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get a piece of plywood over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the framing nailer. I mean the finishing nailer. And let's see what it does as far. I'm gonna hit it two different places. All right, so that hits it nice and clean though. That you you got you got you gotta understand the difference. One is nice and clean, the other one's gonna be more rudimentary of just grabbing the medium and holding it down. But the framing nailer, yeah, obviously I could pull it out. I mean not the framing nailer, but I'm getting them all mixed up here. <laughs> so you know it, it can pull back out, the nail stays in. So let me go ahead and clip it out. And let's use a stapler. And this is why I love the stapler, okay? Let's say I put the medium up. Now I'm gonna go to the staple gun. It, really, it holds a lot better and you can see, I mean, that is definitely gonna, it, it holds a lot better, especially for holding whatever it is, boards or whatever medium you do wanna put up against some sort of you know, two by four or other kinds of wood. So that is de that is kind of reason why I bought it. That to me makes it, to me, my favorite all around um, tool to use as far as when I am working with wood and putting up material. And it's really light. Um, it's really easy on battery all day long. You can shoot it all day. And the, and the actual staples too, I mean, for the same price which you would get a thousand, for like, let's say the finishing nailer, you get 2000, you know, for, for, for the staples. The staples are a lot cheaper. So for, from my perspective, I should have got the staple gun um, first before I picked up the finishing nailer. But yeah, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm happy for, with, with all the purchases here. Um, now I will go to that once I start doing some cabinets work as well, which I plan to put together a cabinet for my wife here in the next week or so. But you know, in that case, you know, use a cleaner version of it. But if you're on a farm, you want something quick and dirty, framing nailer and stapler are pretty much would be my go-to. And I would not get the finishing nailer at that point in time. But that's just my opinion. You can go take it for what it's worth. And don't forget the fact that you gotta get a case for it. You gotta get batteries for it too as well. So other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick lunch live, live stream here from Farms and Fixins. And go ahead, if you like my contact, if you like my content, go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button to help me out. I will talk to you guys soon.